Yo! What up everybody, I'm Rim. Like and subscribe and watch my other videos. So, my life has been a bit hectic for the past few weeks, but it is calming down, allowing me to focus on building a community of people who like to hear me talk about random shit again. And I truly appreciate the people who like watching and subscribe to me, so I have a lot of topics that I am making videos on, but for now, I want to talk about something that I am a bit late on, and it ain't about writing per se. So there has been a video going around recently of some guy talking about how he spermed his shorts when he hugged a girl. <laughs> but uh, uh, I, met, uh, I met a girl who's a streamer. I went up to her, I hugged her, and I came in my pants. Look at that face. This guy seems so proud of himself. And despite the fact that a lot of people have already stopped talking about this shit, there is a chance that he is just making this entire thing up for clout. But for the purposes of my topic, I am going to operate under the assumption that he is really just that pathetic and is telling 100% facts. You see, since the beginning of the existential dumpster fire that has been the 2020s, I have felt as if there has been this society-wide argument plaguing the Western world that can best be depicted as hundreds of people with egos vaster than the grandest of canyons standing in front of each other and going, it, 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 Boys, boys, it's, it's better, it's better. Uh, uh, you, you know, girls, 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 is, girls is better. Girls is better. Yeah! Girls is poo poo face. Yeah! Boys and girl boys are big, big, stupid mini pants. And. Uh, in my opinion, this mentality has led to a type of degradation in how people approach interpersonal relationships. Now, obviously people seem to have harder times interacting with one another nowadays, young people are having less children on average, divorce rates are higher, and honestly, men like this aftermath of a lifelong dry spell and these guys exist. I pushed him. I said, bro, what the F are you doing? Get away from me. Stop trying to touch me. I a brick on my car, on the hood, and some pot. And he lit something sticking out of it and walked away casually like he didn't do anything. Fire spread to the fence and burnt the side of my house as well, which my mom and animals were inside of. Making women with the lowest numerical IQ rating go... All, all, all men do is rape and harass and kill women because there's, there's, there's big doo-doo, big doo-doo, but babies. Not to mention the fact that things like the Fresh and Fit podcast and those stupid street interviews where they interview the dumbest types of people while they're drunk and also shove a camera in their faces, incentivizing them to make the stupidest comments they can for the chance to gain the tiniest bit of clout. And also, to be fair, on the flip side, you have stupid shit like She-Hulk, Velma, and just everything in Hollywood actively insulting men for basically everything. And things like The View saying things like this. Well, Danielle tweeted, ladies, a question for you. What would you do if all men had a 9 p.m. curfew? Dudes, read the replies and pay attention. Well, her replies were extremely powerful. For example, Emma Smart said she could go for a walk in the dark without leaping out of my skin at little noises. Just thinking about going somewhere alone without anxiety seems like a dream. Is this how guys feel all the time? And Braun Wynn Harris said, public transit. I take all the public <laughs> transit. Yeah. So ladies, can you relate to these tweets? Absolutely. You know, I noticed, yeah, Fortunate. right? 
Put all of that together with the mishmash of propaganda from all sides looking to profit off of an immature bitch fit from the most miserable and lonely minority of people who have just been given an excuse to blame their misery on the opposite sex by fanning the flames of this argument, or by creating an environment where these miserable people can feel just a semblance of affection from the opposite sex by creating a false equivalent of it, through an entirely online persona, while dickheads give them money online for doing nothing aside from being attractive and talking to the general populace of people who subscribe to their Twitch streams. There's this hypothesis. And it's, and it's a pretty, pretty, it's a hypothesis that kind of stands, and it has biological reasons. For, for a guy that is in a relationship to be interested in other girls, that's just cheating. But if a girl who's in a relationship becomes interested in another guy, it often means that she's not getting what she needs to get from that relationship. Because... Women don't tend to cheat unless there's there's something wrong with what with the relationship. But like, okay, so my whole life I grew up thinking that women were dramatic, that women were the problem. And then now that I'm a grown up, I'm starting to realize that that is all a lie. Now I'm realizing that it's the men that are the problem. This is what you fucking retards are paying for. At least go to a strip club. Or buy a hooker. Or honestly, better yet, pay for some therapy so that you can actually work on your fucking issues. The amalgamation of all of these things ultimately ends up twisting people into this fucking thing. And although I may not know the exact inner machinations of such a bizarre mind, I can at least deduce that spending too much time online looking at women in combination with having very little luck with women in real life or going the MGTOW route and just giving up on relationships with women altogether can warp your personality into either a bitter man who blames women for your current long-term dry spell and harbors some weird deep-seated disdain for them in general or a pathetic simp who truly puts women on a pedestal above themselves instead of just like seeing them as ordinary people who probably couldn't care less about you if you are not directly affecting their personal life just like most people. And on the flip side, the same can be said for the super hardcore feminists who buy into all of the propaganda that states the exact same bullshit that the fake men's help alpha sigma gamma male bullshit is saying. Like, seriously, they say the same shit. But instead of insulting women and praising men, it's insulting men and praising women. And all these things are doing is pointing out the few bad things that can happen when you encounter the opposite sex and attributing those qualities to every possible interaction that is had with the opposite sex. For men dating women, it's baby trapping. The whole women cheat more than men ideology. Using men for money. Women only care about the chat overly focusing on how fucked up marriage laws are. Side note, in America, marriage laws are really fucked up and weighed heavily in favor of women. But for this specific topic, my only commentary that should be noted is that this should not be used as a cudgel for incels or fake alpha male type people to beat feminists over the head with or as a reason for MGTOW men to walk away from dating altogether. If you hate marriage laws to the point that you don't want to get married, just inform whatever woman you're interested in that you'll date long term but you don't want to get married if it ever gets to that point then you two can make a decision going forward and deal with the aftermath as maturely and amicably as possible sure it might not be easy because you won't want to lose that person but life is full of sacrifices being made due to difficult and unavoidable personal decisions you cannot always have what you want and sadly, you might have to deal with the fact that one of those sacrifices is losing this person forever. Okay, moving on. Now, honestly, that is just to name a few of these stupid concepts. For women dating men, it's all men are rapists. 
that one is more of a specifically feminist thing, but that still goes there. The idea that all women are beautiful and 10 out of 10 by default, no matter how ugly they actually are inside and out. Men having just like any standard in any regard is sexist. The whole men cheat more than women ideology. The whole idea that cooking and cleaning and shit for your man somehow is a bad thing. Side note, I know a lot of stupid people that push this idea also mainly state that this is doing wife shit and doing wife shit without being married is the real issue, but to that I say, get that shit out of here. Dating is a precursor to being married, and if you truly love someone and want to marry them, you'll want to put your best foot forward in an attempt to impress them. That goes for both men and women, and sadly, that best foot forward is doing wife shit sometimes, and on the flip side, men doing husband shit sometimes. And yes, for no reason sometimes, and yes, even if you're not married yet. It's called showing someone you appreciate them for who they are, and for being in your life. The idea that men are afraid of powerful, successful women? And once again, that is just to name a few of these stupid fucking concepts. Look, I'm just some dude. I've had my simp period when I was younger, and I've had my incel downward spiral into MGTOW in my earlier years as well. For me, I got out of it because I just took accountability for my own life and then I went to therapy to help get a start working on myself because it helps having someone to talk to during that type of journey. And I feel like that is kind of what these types of people that I've been talking about really need. Not a friend and not a family member, but an actual professional who will tell them the truth instead of giving them affirmation for their negative habits, thus enabling them to continue doing them. Plus, people are more inclined to listen to a professional than they are their friends and family, honestly. I feel like anyway. I could be wrong though. And I feel like this topic is actually important. It's not about our brewing tensions with China or something like a submarine full of billionaires dying. It's not something crazy or grand, but it's about human society and interpersonal relationships. Humans are not meant to be alone. Alone time is healthy and everyone should spend a bit of time in solitude. Firstly, to get to know themselves. And secondly, just to kind of relax when needed. But that should not be permanent. We, have been cultivating this culture that tells people not to care about your neighbor or that things such as monogamy are somehow negative or boring when in reality a true connection with someone where you both see one another for who you truly are like as human beings and not just as the person that is portrayed on the outside is important because for one that feels amazing that means you found someone who you can trust, who can compromise with you, or who you can confide in about difficult things when appropriate. And thus, it would be safe to begin to build a future with that person if you so choose. But that cannot be had if people refuse to care about the relationships that people build together, or if we continue to give demands to one another versus conversing and agreeing on boundaries while also respecting the agreement that we have made together. Both men and women are guilty of attacking the nuclear family in some way, shape, or form, making everyone at fault for the degradation of society as we know it. It has been happening from generation to generation as parents become less capable of parenting and people become less capable of relating to one another or holding onto a marriage. I'm sure everyone can cite at least one personal observation that they have seen happen or at least one statistic from expert studies on the topic. But in my opinion, it will all boil down to one thing no matter what. People need to accept the fact that they need help professional help to give them some perspective on their lives. Kind of like a coach in a way, 
then they need to take accountability for their mistakes and accept their faults. Then they need to put in some hard work to fix their bad habits. All of us do. Everyone around the world. It's not just men's fault or women's fault that bad things happen. Or that relationships crumble, both romantic and platonic. It's just life. Sometimes a person might cause something negative, but that is that person's fault. And sometimes that person might be you. In your life, you are always the constant factor. Please remember that. But I'm just some guy. So of course I could be wrong. Anyway, I'm done for now. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. I am attempting to get to 50 subs and I need your help because yes, it is a small goal, but it is my goal. And I really want to achieve it. And I appreciate all of you who do help me do it. I'm Rim and remember to disconnect my friends and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.